distance that they travel, regardless of what damage they take, is a perfect setup for things like Boomy's Neutral Light and, and Downlay on Blaster. So before we talk too much about this, we know that four stocks are going to fly in under a minute. Let's get, yeah, let's get, let's get in the game. Also, going to make sure to put respect on her name is Shell, playing Shell. So we got, uh, like you said, stocks are going to fly in. Look at that. They're already they're already throwing hints yeah. on the right. Like Everybody went to yellow within half a second. What are you doing? Down to recovery off of the are recovery. He's gone. Me? He's Bro, gone. He started off the match so fast. Luna disappeared so fast. The D-Light pivot side aired into the side stick there. Sansa could have continued that combo, but he does take the opportunity to turn it around with the drift that Boots have to bring it back into Boomy's favor so that he get the side stick there. Luna disappeared within a few seconds. Down light doesn't get the recovery right afterwards from that dash jump. Means that Snowy gets to live to fight another day here. Dare on the Boomy could be him going down, but Snowy dodging in place. So they're both trying to get back to stage. Sarah's exchanged, but Snowy's the one that ends up falling for it. Gravity gets a down light Sarah, but Boomy expecting Sansa to go off stage. I think Boomy had the right idea. I actually like what they did because sending him back in, Boomy repositioned to look at the weapon spawn and yeah. pay attention to no coming yes. back in. That allowed them to reset up rather than overextend off stage where uh, I believe it was Snowy was on his way back. No, it was Luna who was on his way back. Well, either way, we're back here in the situation where Sandstorm does go down. Boomy, the one holding the long, the stocks the longest, doesn't get hit by the neutral light from Snowy, but he's at risk of going down pretty quick. Yep, that recovery will catch him. Sandstorm's got to be careful with this 1v2. Gauntlets are so good at catching you out of the air and doing a ton of damage to you in doubles. Very, very a scary position Whoa. right now for Luna, but he does get caught by the stair. Won't be enough. That's going to allow them a 2v1 over on the Snowy, but Snowy boxing was his way right out. Yeah, falls with that recovery, gets the Nair. Luna gets hit by the side of the recovery though while sweating, and he's off the top once again. Boomy and Sandstorm now pressuring Snowy on the left side of the stage. Boomy goes for a dash jump read on that neutral air. Luna gets right in and gets kicked away by Sandstorm. Oh, double team combo opportunity there that was just avoided, and Sandstorm does end up hitting both his teammate and Snowy to break up the fray. A good defense by Sandstorm, not only to get back on stage, fade away to get away from that dare. Actually, Snowy hit Luna in the mist, and Luna looking Whoa. to chase. Sweat beats does not get punished on his way down. Okay, Luna falls to the stair. Boomy gets a little bit of a punish with the gauntlets and Sandstorm. All right, double gauntlets coming up from the blue team here in this situation. Snowy picks up the cannon. D-Light Nair ends up hitting who wasn't his target to be dominating. And Sandstorm's now one D-Light Nair from getting taken off the top as well. Snowy switches over to Boomy, gets punched away. Luna holding center stage, but Boomy manages to get a weapon. Snowy still fighting for Luna's life here. It Snowy, does go down. Snowy was so close to getting one in onto Sandstorm who was trying to hover above, but Sandstorm smartly fading away. Meanwhile, uh, you know, this is as close as he could possibly get at the moment. Sandstorm holding onto that stock for a good bit, running away from Snowy once again. Oh, the Nairs are coming through. That side leg up through. That's so awesome from Lou to be able to stop that, knowing that you're committed to that boot side air. Once you connect it with your opponent, ends up going down in, in positions to move not to hit his teammate. Now is one stock across the board, and both Lukes are at danger of going down to a heavy hit. Exactly. Right now, uh, you cannot be the first one to make a mistake. Oh, Lumi, they're both off the they both got sent off, and nobody is going to get knocked out yet. But it's a perfect Whoa. position for him. He just misses. Meanwhile, Sandstorm covers with the recovery, but it won't be enough to get Does rid it go of down. Luna. And Snowy's getting a ton of damage with the, ca the cannon there. OK. Sansom gets to knock out the top. Team Cobb opportunity gets the down sink into the neutral signature, bounces him off the stage. Gargoyle Onyx over here has a little bit more defense than you might be ready for, so that's not going to knock out, but that cider definitely will as Sandstorm side sigs his way back onto the stage. The win condition Whoa. is to not get put into that spot right there. Yes. It was such a close game. This, I know we keep saying it, but this set quite literally sets the tone for the remainder of this tournament. One of these two teams will be sent to elimination side oh. pre-top eight. So a bunch a bunch of people have to deal with one of them. And so far it is Sandstorm and Boomy who were able to strike first, but Taza, that was as close as you could possibly get for game one. Yeah, yeah, very, very close game going between both players there. And I do think that you were correct. When it comes to these two teams, the win condition is just don't get into the 1v2. Make it as close as possible. Once you get that stock, barring a miracle, I, I, with the way that they set up these team compositions, I don't really think that either team has like the kind of weapon that's kind of like, oh, I have axe or hammer. I'm going to get a miracle side air and knock you out. I guess Snowy kind of has that locking in the Onyx, but I don't consider Cannon Sarah on the same tier as those other heavy hitting weapons. So you really got to hope that you keep both teammates yeah. alive. And, and continuing to fight through those matchups if you want to have a chance to get those knockouts. As we're going back to Small Fortress of Lions and, and nothing but the team compositions are going to be changing the result of this next matchup. Yeah, no, we're going to be sticking it out all the way through. I mean, as we're seeing too, we're, all the talk about having Cross in your team is just playing out right in front of us. Mm -hmm. So much stage control, so much knockout potential, but specifically the ability to play all points of the field well. You can line up combos for your teammate well, the KO potential's there, but Luna, 
wasn't able to line up as often as Boomy, but when the match started getting towards the end, he was. He was picking it up. That's why I feel pretty good about Red Team going into game two. Yeah, so let's take a look at what's happening over here. Snowy got hit by an early Nair, recovery Nair. Puts him deep into orange. Downlight side air, interrupted by Luna's Nair. Great coverage there, but Boomy carries him up with the recovery, and no amount of defense is going to stop you from falling down to that. Sandstorm keeping Luna in the air. D-Light side air, but Boomy, instead of going for that follow-up, yes. wanted to stop Snowy from getting the weapon. You caught it the same moment yeah. I did, too. He's like, you could go chase, he, but you hey, would rather yeah. slow down Snowy because Sandstorm could deal what he needs to. That's good positioning rather than trying to go for something that you didn't need. Yeah, that was really smart coming out from Boomy there. Sandstorm now covering the ledge with these downlights. Snowy going to be entering wall slip pretty soon if he's not careful. Has to touch back on the stage, and Luna puts pressure on with the down sig from Luke. The second one charged, almost gets the landing. Luckily for Boomy, he didn't fastball. Bro, it it <laughs> did the awareness, too, after he yeah. was pressuring to not get caught by that, uh, that D sig over on the side. He's so on point. But oh. right now, it's a big opportunity to try and get Sandstorm. Do they get the recovery? Yes, they do, and they even it up. Yeah, even it up. Snowy takes a lot of damage there. Try to go in for the Nair to follow up off of Luna. Snowy's having a lot of these micro-spacing mishaps where he's falling into the last hit of Luna's combo starters, and he's not getting the cannon neutral air follow-ups that he's looking for. We're just seeing that happen over and over again, and then Sandstorm, taking advantage of that, has now put Snowy on the right side of the stage with that neutral light, and he's disarmed. Yeah, Boomy, Snow look at that. And here we go, target shift over under Luna. Yeah, you see Luna immediately dodging. She's like, oh, crap, crap, crap. I got to get out of here. But uh, Snowy still holding on to that stock momentarily. Gets around the stairs. It's a big opportunity for Snowy, oh. but gets sent away. And Sandstorm dodging too. Almost got him, but it doesn't matter. Boomy finishes his food, and Luna once again stuck in a very bad spot yeah. as he's got to get around this. Yeah, Luna tries to get back to the stage. Does get the neutral air off of the Nair. Gets some extra damage with that pivot neutral air uh, on his blasters. Great job. Snowy's trying to find a weapon. Sandstorm has been keeping him in the air with these boots. Falls down with the down air, doesn't get it. And there goes Boomy Sandstorm has to avoid this team combo. Delight recovery and he catches him off the gravity cancel down light. So much harder to hit than that dash jump one. And he gets it. They take the lead, Ajax, in game two. Luna loves when you doubt him, and he has been picking it up a ton in this game. After the very beginning, it was easy to try and doubt that position because they were getting jumped. Mm -hmm. They had nothing going for them. But instead, Luna has been able to bring so them back to this game. All right, so this is one of those weird situations where I actually feel like next time Luna takes knockback, if it doesn't knock out, just go off stage. Every time that you spend these 10 seconds getting back to the stage, Snowy's just taking a ton of damage, and he goes down because of that. This is a strategy that I think that Boomy and Sandstorm were the first to showcase and perfect, which is just like the, hey, you know, maybe it's better if yes. every Sair, I don't spend five seconds getting back to the stage and taking that damage, because we saw the effects of that, and now Luna's yep. stuck in that. We talked about this. This is the lose condition, right? Getting yes. into the 1v2. Stage control is so important that throwing a way that already essentially borrowed time stock might be yeah. the play because what was a closer game due to your incredible play now equals this 2v1. Luna's definitely one of the people who's capable of doing it, right. but you have to do it well, in front of Sandstorm and Boomy. Is I'm almost at the point now where I want to say nobody is capable of doing it, but let's see. He hasn't taken too much damage so far. He's technically in a damage lead on both opponents. You know, that you side active input comes through. Do you let recovery on the platform? No way. Yeah, Ajax. <laughs> he almost stole that, that stock. That was Boomy. so close. Well, I he, mean, he, was like, he was like a weapon throws damage away from that working. If, I mean, if Luna can snatch another mistake out of Boomy like that, he might no. be able to pull it off. And Boomy's the one who's still playing up front. It's not Sandstorm. Yeah. Now they finally switch up targets. Yeah, Boomy switches over to the weapons, gets the neutral air. Let's see. Down to Luna. Ajax, I cannot believe what I'm seeing. It's, uh, Luna, we said it Luna before. Luna sniped Boomy away from Sandstorm. Sandstorm with the blue, it, the boots has just been doing nothing. Look, if there's anybody I, who can I, do what? it, Luna is one of those people. You were joking. He, I, okay, down light. Okay, the side light comes through. Gets it down, like puts Luna off the side oh, of the stage. Is that it? Side air hits. Yep. Okay, Sandstorm clutches that one, that 2v1. I should not be saying those words, Ajax. Luna is so freaking good. Bro, dude, that's what? just this how he's built. And even like even, even if he didn't catch D-Light Sair, Sair by itself might have just did it. And Sandstorm so clutch in those positions for good reason. But if you had to have faith in literally anyone to be someone to try and I beat have it them. Now. Yeah, like, I mean, I, you talked about it before. I, he almost got that sneak D-Light oh. recovery off the soft platform before, and instead he finds that uh, the uh, Blaster D-Sig that he's been lining up very well so far. But that was, that was little how, moments look away. Look at how early Snowy goes down. Oh, my and God. And Luna almost wins this game. That is Im that is incredible. Uh, really, after looking at that, all Snowy has to do is just not take a ton of damage. Now, I Sno still Snowy needs to play the game. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I, I want to <laughs> highlight that before all that happened, despite us giving so much credit to the 1v2, I do think that that was a little bit on Luna to be leaving Snowy true, stuck true. by himself, unarmed between two Titans like Boomy and Sandstorm while he's trying to recover. And also, that's one of those things that happened that led to that situation in the first place. Also, remembering back to the beginning of that game, too, Luna was actually the one who was falling early. 
early too. He yeah. was taking a lot, but ended up rebounding and putting on 704 damage. So this, the clutch factor is there. The confidence is there, but is it enough to get them out of what could be a 3-0 as Sandstorm and Boomy are one game away from the winner's I, top eight? I think it's very close, Ajax, and it's just gonna be a matter who plays better in this game at this point, because after seeing Luna in that 1v2, I am now convinced that the Boomy Sandstorm 2v1 effect is not even a surefire thing anymore. Yep. Uh, Luna almost got his way through that with the blasters alone. Here we go into game number three. Luna and Snowy fighting for their winner's bracket life are having a pretty good start here with that dare into the ground pound coming out from the cannon. Good team combo and Snowy really blasting both opponents at the same time. The cannon is doing work here. They have way better stage control this game so far. They've held center the whole time oh. and they have also just not been hit. Sandstorm finally gets in there, catches oh, both he's, of them. He's still in there. I like, hey, that, that also allowed Boomy to get back on stage. Like yeah. that was the most crucial moment of breather that they needed. <laughs> Okay, nice job with that down to coming up from Luna as well. Gets the recovery into Boomy. Boomy goes down. Weapon throw. Sandstorm gets that wake up into the side oh. air. And he gets the neutral stick into both of them. Edge guard opportunity. Still, we can't even make it back in. That's a double knockout for a Sandstorm shell as he catches him with the boots. That is somebody going to your tires and just stabbing all the air out of all of them. Got deflated so fast yeah. from just getting. They were, their grouping up was phenomenal oh. to start. And then it cost them. And he almost lost another one off the top. They're, he's very lucky uh, that he, you only have so much base knockback off of the, the boots vertically, and there's no signatures that could get you up there either. Oh, Boomy was getting ready to fall for that ground pound off the neutral sig. It's just a knockback on uh, on Shell's neutral signature on Gauntlets does not go quite as far at low damage. Snowy and Luna here have brought it to an even game with a team combo coming out from Sansa and Boomy. Double Gauntlets means that they'd be very careful about their move choice, and Luna and Snowy get out of there pretty quickly. Yes. The dares from Snowy have been hitting both Boomy and Sandstorm so often, and they're so good. Nice duck down to get the Nair, the second Nair. Snowy just blasted away. D-Light Nair again, and Boomy almost goes down to one star. Big opportunity they had there, oh, oh, and that so is going to catch him on his landing, too. He keeps catching him as soon as he sees all the resources burn, and that was after they had once again. What's the theme? Stage control. Yeah. They were able to get it, and they got so much damage on them, and that is now Luna falling, too. Snowy's not going to fall just yet, but yeah. it is still a very damaged Snowy and Sandstorm. Who's going to go down first, Sandstorm or Snowy? Uh, uh, okay, well, that's the answer to my question. Asking, you shall receive. The recovery <laughs> comes over. I think I think Sandstorm was like like a, a risk that you do when trying to uh, corner guard with boots is that unlike blasters, you're moving with the weapon. He downlights over the side of the stage. That recovery comes through. Now red team is a small lead. Neutral Sig ends up putting Boomy to orange and Luna. Oh. He's just got to play keep away long enough yes. for Snowy to touch the ground. Tully's yeah. coming in there. He's got to get away from this. And Boomy is one of the best people you can ask for to not get edge guarded in the oh. entire game. Sandstorm going off stage. So he saves him. Boomy almost catching him with the Seraph. He's got Snowy nothing just left. missing. He does touch. Okay, Sandstorm is now the one sweating. He's low on jumps. Okay, Snowy still has to pick up a weapon, though. Finally gets through with the gauntlets. Just tries to stop Sandstorm and Boomy from saving the wall. And Boomy taking a note out of Luna's book with that down sig. Could get the edge guard here. He falls. Oh, that's a rare mistake. But he, he hasn't been hit in a long time. So it's a huge factor of why the blue team has brought it all the way back. Oh. Sandstorm almost getting caught, but sees through it. That's going to be Sound a recovery. recovery that sends up, though, 2v1. But look at how much damage now applied on the Luna. Boomy can make it happen, but it's not that easy as they do not get that 3-0. It's going to be Luna and Snowy who put themselves on the board. All right, and Snowy, I mean, we asked for that adaptation, and he brought it. 620 yes. damage. And how much of that was from the cannon, Ajax? Uh, 512. Yeah. He, I, I, I'm pretty sure that, like, 90% of Snowy's neutral openings and team combos was blasting Snowy or Boomy and Sansom at the same time yes. with these cannon neutral airs, with these cannon down airs. He was phenomenal with the weapon. Really finally showcasing against this Titan team of Boomy and Sansom how good the weapon is in twos. And I'm really enjoying the performance coming out from here because we are thankfully going to a game four. I, I, oh. I'm so, I am so happy that we're still getting games out of the set yeah. because Again, this is the this is the potential tone set. Well, actually, not the potential. As everybody's watching this, this is the tone setter. This is what is most yep. likely going to be a good like preview of what could you, be grand. The thing is, though, is the person who loses here goes into a limbs pre top eight. Yep. That's a long run they have to take through all of those great teams just to make it back to the rematch. Yeah, to put it in perspective, you win this, you win one more, you're in top three. If you go down here, you have to go through six matches, I think, five or six. I think so, to be able this to get puts you at 13th, I think, right? And uh, before, actually, no, this should put you at ninth, if yeah. I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. right now, if you were to never win a game again, you get ninth, which is pretty good.
but not what but either no, team. Not, not, not for these two teams. Looking for. So. And I don't really think that whoever goes down here is getting ninth, so that's going to be a really tough one no. for the elimination bracket. But uh, we're getting ahead of ourselves. We have another match to play, and maybe even a game five, because we're Possibly. going to be moving into the next game pretty soon. There's a little bit of hesitation here on the map that's being picked. I think a big part of that is because, uh, I well, mean... Well, this is the first time that we've seen Luna and Snowy be able to make the decision, right? True. Yeah. Uh, in a, I, I mean, I feel like for Luna and Snowy, like, you spent most of that game dominating center. So why not go back? Like, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see them return the, to, to, the, to the Fortune because, like... The maps aren't very different. You're basically deciding between do you want a platform or not, and then do you want a pillar or not? Because mm. what they had left was Apocalypse, Fortress of Lions, and Demon Island. And it looks like Apocalypse yes. is going to be coming out here as the change in pace from that games uh, from games one, two, and three to game number four. Because the, the big difference here is that once once one team takes a win over the other, the order of when you ban maps and who picks maps changes. So that's why we have an opportunity here where they were like, let's think about it. Do we really want to go back to Fortress of Lions? Let's see how this plays out here. Because because it's Snowy and Luna who are at match point, or, or, or at risk of losing the match point here. Yeah, they have, uh, I mean, this is actually kind of surprising me that it took this long to get to Apocalypse. This is where, we, this is where most of North America spends their time in 2v2s. And uh, this is, I think I like the idea of it as well, because like you said, it also reduces the side of how long you could survive alongside those walls. And those high recoveries might help, but my goodness, Boomy oh. has been exited fast. Yeah, Boomy going down in quick fashion here. Sandstorm could follow shortly afterwards if he's not too careful. Don't uh, be deceived by how little damage Sandstorm has taken. It is just a matter of what move he yep. has been hit, and hit by before that stock flies. Uh, Boomy gets hit by that down air, bounced into the cannon, ground pound. Sandstorm hits him with the boots on the neutral light, and Boomy tries to take Luna off the top, does not succeed, and Snowy with the hard read on that neutral sig blasts Boomy off, does not get the dare, but Boomy could go down to one stock if he's not careful, hits hit by the recovery, does get the down sig, and they get the revenge knockout on Luna. It is a lead for the blue team, but a deceptive one. Boomy is at risk of yes. going down at any moment in time. I mean, I, I will think back to that previous match where Boomy was able to survive very long while being deep in the red on that last stock. And Boomy is one of the most difficult people to edge, our, edge guard in the history of Brawlhalla. So he can make it happen. The thing is Whoa. that Snowy's reads have been so on point, but Snowy just went off stage, just gets around uh, Sandstorm as well. Recovery won't be enough to knock out Boomy a little bit too low. Yeah, and keep in mind that Snowy's had an entire year's worth of teaming with Boomy to know about his tendencies when recovering back to the stage. And we see that with that cider to double weapon throw edge guard that Boomy is now on one stock in under two minutes up against Luna, Luna and Snowy who are Ooh. trying to go into game number five here in this best of five. They already got a five piece basically over on the left oh. side on the Sandstorm. Sandstorm Crash. meanwhile separating them apart. Good job going after him. Uh, Snowy smartly recovering high, not getting caught by Sandstorm once again. But Snowy, he's, he's not that far off from evening up this game with that damage he's taken already. Yeah, Boomy tries to go in for that ground pound. Snowy gets a double recovery. That's so much extra damage coming out here. And Snowy and Luna, any damage they get on Boomy might as well be extra credit in this consideration, right? Because he is so close to being knocked out here. Sandstorm falling with that cider gets interrupted by Snowy's own Sare. And there goes Sandstorm off the top. Downsick hits and Boomy avoids one weapon throw, but can he stop Snowy and Luna who are just hunting him down? They cannot. He has to come back to the stage, gets the chase dodge. Sandstorm goes for the save and Luna dunks him off the bottom of Apocalypse. Ajax, it's three stocks to one. That's two times in a row where Lu uh, Luna read where they were going to go. He adjusted to Sandstorm getting knocked up higher to get that recovery before. And then after the chase dodge, he adjusted immediately to go get Boomy. And now Sandstorm, I mean, this is definitely the name you'd like Ooh. to see in this position, but this is a name we might not see here too much longer, depending on how, if he gets caught by another team combo. Yeah, gets out of that one. Silent recovery means no dodge. Second recovery comes in from the gauntlet. Snowy looking for that weapon throw to pick up neutral signature. Down light goes in, doesn't pivot it, but Sandstorm's just getting hit by a ton and getting no hits himself. D-Light down air? Okay. there. It's not the cleanest end of this match, Ajax, but all I'll tell you is, is it is a win. And they're going to be bringing it to game five here on the reverge of a reverse 3-0 over Moist Boomy and Sandstorm, who on the shell in the Luke, I don't think they're going to be switching off, but it looks like Luna and Snowy, they figured something out. Team Luke. Hey, excuse me, team. They yeah, team Apocalypse Pro up that oh, time. They, wow, they took it out, out immediately, but the yeah. team of Luke Look and Onyx so far has oh, picked up a ton. A we power. mentioned before at BCX, when things are going well for Boomy and uh, Snowy, it was when the cannon started popping off because everything Boomy did lined up into the amazing reads that Snowy was able to land. Yeah. That's what we're starting to see here again Look at in Luna's these last chart. two games. That's phenomenal. Oh and Snowy doesn't even have to worry about what happened to him on his final stock. We have the options of Demon Island, Fortress of Lions and Western Air Temple open. So that's the difference here. By mm. taking Apocalypse off the table, they're seeing if they want to go for that. And 
technically, Boomy and Sansom have gotten their most amount of wins on Fortress of Lions, which yep. is why I think they were taking so much time here. While we're on the stat screen, they are really hashing out what they need to do before they pick the stage. And we are going to go back to Fortress of Lions for this game five. Game number five time. You can see the damage was low for the blue team. It has been red hot for the red team. And only one of these two stays in the winner's side of this bracket oh, to move forward into winner's top eight. All right. And so far, what it's been is a great team combo oh. opening. He gets the dancing body slam. They went into straight the air. to orange. They went <laughs> <laughs> this, an Onyx starts the game in deep red, Ajax, and he is tossed off the side, and the team combo with the neutral dude. suit. He's just launched into the double KO, and Boomy and Sandstorm said, enough of this. Jump, 20 seconds. Jump scare time. Gauntlet side seat coming oh. out, snatching up every chance of hope you had to try and stay in this game. Now it is on Luna and Snowy to show that they can adapt, but that is the biggest gap that you can have happen to you to start off the game. It, it's rough, but they can take turns in the team combos, right? Sometimes that happens, and that is the difference between the good teams and the great teams, is being able to have that opener come through, and possibly bring it back but Boomy and Sandstorm they have not let up on the team combos yet Snowy's already in deep orange they are switching off targets so well gonna oh, catch what? him send him up to the other side with the active input very smart they allow the two to one, but there's Luna catching them slipping gets that delight recovery and now they have a chance to try to get Sandstorm who just boxes his way out nice job from Sandstorm hits the stair uses the active input to travel back to center stage Luna can't get the punish to the recovery from Boomy means that Luna's down to one stock in a minute and nine seconds Sandstorm with the stair takes down Snowy it's five stocks to two and just like that with a little bit of time and consideration going back to Fortress of Lions, Boomy and Sandstorm are poised to get this best of five victory. Remember the Titans. We're seeing them step back onto the field right now and they're looking like they're going to walk away with this W currently with a huge lead. This is where champions are made. Only the best of the best are able to make a comeback from this position oh, the and they're in a bad spot. But we got the double side light off of that carry from Sandstorm comboing behind Sandstorm with the range of the blaster. Snowy falls to that ground pound. Can Sandstorm make it back? He gets dunked by the neutral signature. Kaboomi trying to recover. Has to avoid this edge guard here and Luna down Lights the wrong way, makes Which, it back. That was a huge stock. He needed said that. Earlier, and Sandstorm's comboing both of them. Remember we said earlier, Boomy's very hard to edge guard, and they they need these. They can't drop those opportunities. They only have a few mistakes left in the tank, and that is at least one of them that gonna get caught on. That is now Luna forced to fight four stocks down against them already in KO windows, and that will not be enough as it is going to be the return of the Kings as they take out Luna and Snowy from that number one seated position. They take it back to that comfortable spot that they're very used to, and they move Taza Sandstorm. right into winners. Yes. Top it. Hit, look at this combo. The, the ground on arm ground pound off of shell down sing. And Sandstorm hits him with the woohoo emote. <laughs> at the end. I've never seen Sandstorm look at that. Look at that. Calls him. Sends him flying after a whirlwind. And then they go right back over and they finish this stock. He dunks him and boomy. Well, he didn't even need to I hit that. He didn't even need it. It was so close. I can't imagine. Like, oh, this is the replay. Yeah, of our our, our reactions <laughs> plus probably production are going crazy. I'm, like, like, it's just it's Dude, hard, I'm it's just hard to stay calm during that. <laughs> they, these are two fan favorite teams, by the way. Like you're looking at Luna and Snowy, who uh, Snowy coming off of BCX, but then you have Sandstorm and Boomy back at it. Uh, if we needed any oh. check mark at any point to pr to know that they are in fact back, is this a recovery? This is that set. Yeah, Boomy. Oh, this is so smart. Jumps up. She's that. He's like, I know how to punish that down. Like, that's not safe. And Sandstorm knew it. He was already gravity canceling that woohoo at the very end there, and it focuses in on him, rightfully so. Boomy and Sandstorm take down Snowy and Luna in a nail biter game five set. He did 160 damage. Taza, 160. You know what great. weapons he's playing? Yeah. He's playing cannon. We yeah. were just talking about how he was grouping <laughs> he, them up the entire time. Look oh, at those that's, that's unfair. That's unfair. Oh, my God. Look, well, okay, if you're just tuning in now for whatever reason, please rewind the pod and yeah, watch please, the entire please set. Please rewatch the whole because, set. Because, because I promise that you moment. that these, like, these, these numbers like, <laughs> do not reflect Snowy's performance. Sansa and Boomy are just godlike at like, 2v2s, and they had an amazing this, start. This, this is, right here, this holy moment. Cow was what, yeah. what we call a trip to the dev stream because that is going to be looked back <laughs> at was, later this on. Was, this was the, the science thing on one side and the neutral thing on the other. Step by step, both players just going down. And there was a bit of a moment where Snowy and Luna